Hi there, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. I was answering some emails recently, and um, one of the questions was a good one, and that is, how can you add a row of totals to the bottom of, of a report? Uh, the customer wanted total quantity, total cost, and total value. So we're going to show you how to do that, and later on we'll show you uh, how to add a text field, a text uh, title to a report as well. So anyway, to add the footers, what we're going to do is edit, edit a report that does not have, some of our reports already have total cost, total quantity, and total value footers, but uh, some of them don't. So we'll take one that doesn't have that and change that one. Uh, let's see which one we're looking at. Get coins by year. And you notice here, if you double click on the table object, you'll see uh, different sections. And the footer line is what shows at the bottom of the report. And right now, there's absolutely nothing showing at the bottom of the report. So, um, totals. How are totals computed? Well, in a project, you can create things called sum variables. And we've already got two defined here total cost and total value. And what total cost does is take the cost of every coin and keep a running total of it. Total value does the same for the value. So we need to add one for quantity. We'll call it total quantity. And that uh, that totals coin quantity. So we have the three variables we need to output. Now, what we need to do is add that to the footer line. Now, what, what another, one thing you can do in the report designer is you can copy and paste the uh, components of a report. So I'll show you how to do that right now. I'll take this coin standard list that I'd edited earlier. And that one already has a footer. And you see here it already, it already has a footer that, that has exactly what we're looking for. It's going to show you the number of coins in text, and then it's going to uh, convert the total quantity to a uh, integer. It's going to take the total, total cost and convert it to a uh, currency value and do the same for total value. And one thing you can do that's really nice is you can just copy and paste the entire line. So. So this little icon here is copy. And so I've taken the three components of the line and copied them to the Windows clipboard. Now I'm going to go back to the original report, coins by year. And I'm going to paste. So I pasted the definition here. Now I will click on OK. And as you can see here, well you can see in the preview as well, you see here it's going to show the number of coins, total coins, and total value at the end of our report now. So let's go ahead and save that. You can also save the report under a different name if you don't, if you want to separate the two types of reports. Uh, I'm basically modifying a report that's uh, used by the system. So. Um, and here it is right here, coins group by year. So I will select that. Click on preview as the output and then start. And we've got a couple pages here. And at the bottom as you can see here, I actually got one problem. It's showing a running total of each uh, total. The default is to show the totals at the bottom of each page. I, I just remember that now. So what it's doing is these pages is showing a running total. As you can see here, it goes up to 54, and the next page 72. And you know, maybe that's what you want. Um, but in most cases, I think that may not be what you want. So let's go back and edit the report again. Got coins by year. And this time, Uh, 
Um, this time, what we've done is we clicked on the footer line, and in the properties, there's an appearance condition. And one of the options is last page only. So we're going to select that, click on OK, save again, run the report again, coins group by year. This time, it's going to wait to the last page and give us a grand total of uh, the three uh, fields we, we wanted. It's going to take a while as there are many thousands of coins in this uh, particular collection. So, Okay, so the uh, report is completed. It took quite a while there. and. Um, Basically, now you can see at the bottom, it's going to show you the t grand totals of 1,002 coins, total cost and total value. So uh, that's how to add the uh, footer value, total cost, total value, quantity uh, to a report. Now, let's, let's go over another subject that uh, has been asked a couple times. Uh, how do you add it, your own title to a report? So let's edit any simple report here. We'll edit um, coins by year again. And uh, let's say you want to have a, a custom uh, title instead of instead of just the generic titles uh, specifying what is on the uh, what is contained in the report. Let's say you want your company name or personal name on there. Uh, what you do is just click on Insert Text, and then you're going to uh, define the um, size of the text. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you what do you want to put in there. So. Uh, in our case, we put in something like Liberty Street Software. You can put in your company name. Click OK. And there it is right there now. To change the size of it, you're just going to uh, you can double click on a text object anytime. Change the uh, font style to bold size to 816. And click OK. And you're going to see it's going to show up bigger now. And save again. And so we're going to, let's do coins by year. You can do coins by year on any uh, type as well. You don't have to do it by, uh, uh, you don't have to do it uh, coins by year on the entire collection. So we can just do it on the United States 10 cents denomination. As you can see here, here's our Liberty Street software header there. And we're getting a, uh, all of our uh, 10 cent coins uh, output by year. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.